guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna learn some mounts. I know that mounts can be really frustrating, especially if you feel like you can't even get into the hoop, but working on them slowly and learning a different variety of mounts is going to help you a lot. Not every mount is for everybody. We all know of my deep and eternal hatred of the trapeze mount, and that's okay. You don't need to use every mount. So hopefully this video will give you some options so that you can pick and choose which ones you want to give preference to. I'm going to start by breaking down a few more intermediate mounts, and then at the end I will show you a very easy beginner version that you can do until you build up your strength for the more intermediate ones. And if this video helps you, then don't forget to go over to my channel and subscribe because I've got lots and lots of other tutorials and all sorts of things, plus a great community of people. And I also take video requests so you can request something you'd like to learn. First, I'm just gonna remind you that the trapeze mount exists by forcing my friend Kaylee to demonstrate it for me. Thanks Kaylee, this was beautiful and I know you did it against your will. Moving on, we are gonna start with the pullover mount. You're going to use your arms with your palms facing you. Make sure your hands are more than hip width apart because you need to put your hips between your hands. And then pull your hips up and throw your legs through the center of the hoop. The hips up is the most important part of this. So you may want to do a few little practice runs of just pulling your hips up like this. Make sure that your body stays in a nice V piked position the whole time. If you straighten out too much, it's going to be a lot harder. In kind of a similar move, you're going to do your skin the cat mount. This comes from your skin the cat position with your arms behind you and your hands facing towards your hips on the bottom of the hoop. If you need to, you can do a little tiny hop, but ideally you don't want to hop. You want to use just straight up ab strength. The higher the hoop is, the harder this is going to be. This one's a classic, the straddle mount. Put your hands together on the middle bottom of the hoop with the backs of your hands facing your face, then pull, lift your hips up, and throw one leg onto each side so your legs are in a V and you come into your straddle mount position. Once you feel comfortable doing it from standing, try it from the ground because this will be a little more challenging. Having your hands slightly above your head and your arms less bent will make it more of a strength move. Eventually you want to come to be able to do it from completely straight arms. And to prep for a spinning straddle mount, try doing it from the side of the hoop. Same concept, but your hands are just slightly differently placed. Make sure that when you do your straddle mount, you get your hips nice and high. This exercise will help you with that. And here's a couple more conditioning exercises that are great specifically for mounts. Let's move on to the spinning mount. I had a lot of teachers try to explain this to me in ways that confused me when I was first starting to do it. This is the best explanation that I've heard. I saw an Ariel Straps teacher teach it this way and I think that it makes a lot of sense. So hopefully this will be a good version for you as well. Your first leg, it should be the leg that is going into the spin. So if you're spinning to your right, your right leg, you're spinning to your left, your left leg. Take it up across your body and around in a big circle and then throw it behind your shoulder on the same side. That leg should be straight the whole time you're moving it. Your second leg is going to naturally lift up as your first leg goes around. You're going to bend it and then straighten it as you bring it up into your full straddle mount. So it just does a little développé or kick on its own. Remember that you should be kicking that first leg into the direction of your spin. If you're going against your spin, it's going to be very, very difficult. I know a lot of us as beginners in our first classes are taught this Delilah mount where you just basically struggle to get your leg high enough to hook into the hoop. But as you advance, really push yourself to hit that straddle position with your hips up and your legs in a V each time. Just popping your leg up to hook the bottom of the hoop is not going to help your strength or your technique. And it also is just not that cute. 
And since we just worked so hard on all of our intermediate mounds, let's finish with a very easy beginner one. This is great if you don't yet have the strength to pull off a more advanced mount, or if you're looking to spin really fast and you don't want to have to fight your spin to get into the hoop. Just put one arm across the bottom of the hoop. Try to have the bottom of the hoop at least at the level of your shoulder blade, if not lower. And the other hand on the top of the hoop, pulling down nice and strong. It's sort of similar to an Amazon. Then you can spin, 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 spin. And when you're ready, hook your leg on the bottom of the hoop. You need to use your outside leg, so that's the leg that is farther away from the hoop. Put your leg through in the opposite direction of your spin. Right here, I'm spinning to the right, and I'm putting my right leg through the hoop to the left. This way, the hoop is coming towards my leg as I'm trying to put my leg through the hoop. If I were to use my other leg, the hoop would be running away from my leg and it would be very difficult. That sounds like a pretty complicated explanation, but you're gonna feel the difference when you try it. So try it with both legs if you're struggling. You may need to change legs. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you with your mounts. They are such an important building block and yet we struggle with them so hard. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell and like this video, all of those fun YouTube things. I usually come out with new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And if you want even more Ariel, check out my Instagram, which is in the description.